difficulty here in terms of drug control policy and addressing the impact of illicit drug use and harmful drug use as it relates to individuals across the world. And NGOs have an important role to play in that and we want to be part of it and we have a very important voice to bring to that. That voice is the voice of individuals, families and communities across the globe that are impacted by drug policies. And thirdly, to determine and bring and provide specific policy recommendations to the health. The three of these three resolutions and declaration, I think, deal with very specific language, language that we think will help the Commission on Narcotic Drugs find its way forward and find a way forward through which NGOs can contribute to the uh, future of drug control policy. So perhaps I'll stop there. The <coughs> resolutions and declarations have been distributed. Uh, they go into some detail. The press release has been distributed, which gives further context. Where they sit on the continuum, the ideological continuum, can show up with these resolutions and declarations and speak with a common voice. I think that's particularly helpful for governments. They can see and understand very clearly where the NGOs are coming from, what their intentions are about, and how they see themselves as accountable and able to contribute to this. David, do you have any remarks? Yeah, I, think I think that's an excellent reply because there are, at every commission I've been to, and now we can go in this direction and really make an impact. Consideration. I think it's up for the commission now to determine how it wishes to move those resolutions forward and the declaration forward. Uh, with respect to UNODC, we continue to, to receive outstanding support from UNODC and I think Mr. Chala spoke again in that, in that vein where they very much see themselves as um, uh, continuing to work in the manner that they have been with us in clarity and transparency and, 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 and relationship and uh, very much keeping the resolutions to the Intergovernmental Expert Working Group in September on drug demand reduction. So we've actually been given not just a place for the Commission, but actually in the process of preparation for the high-level segment. And in this field, and it's as President, global, globally as it is in each of our countries and in Canada, it's no different, where you see the talk about harm reduction, prohibition, and it's always this debate of either or. Uh, what we actually came to understand is that there's a place for demand, supply, harm reduction. There's a need to addressing illicit drug use and harmful drug use. And we very much stipulate what that looks like and how it is that we need to be doing so. We table recommendations at CND, participating in that discussion. We target our recommendations to the INCB so that the manner in which it does its work is such that it reports on all facets that are important to civil society in terms of the application of the conventions. We target our recommendations to UNODC as well in terms of how it is that they should be working with, with NGOs and that NGOs can bring a very unique voice to this discussion. It represents a very different constituency than governments. It doesn't have the, the shack. It is our view, or what your view. And we've actually learned through these three days that when we talked to each other, it wasn't an us and them. There was a them, and that was the issue we wanted to tackle. And there was an us with a lot of common ground on where we wanted to go across the board from right from prevention because prevention was important through to uh, early intervention right all those people I think this is very important saying that the voice of all those affected by drug use and drug policy need to be engaged and that was very important as well uh, because NGOs do have that contact they have the capacity to bring forward that voice and I think sometimes because we speak with, with different voices, we have selective hearing, having a one voice to hear. That was a very, very important conclusion of the process. It's binary. It's yes or no. It's war. It's not. That's the past. The language, and I don't think... <laughs> The language of war and drugs is not one that's, that's accepted at all in many countries, uh, much less I'm not even sure if it's used here at UNODC. And uh, it's certainly not language that the NGO committee would use. Um, rather, it's how is it that we wish to work together for the future. 
And I think it's important that as the governments undertake their review, progress and the, and the achievements are important, but it's equally important that we sit down together and say, now where do we go? If we in fact are all responsible for this, governments, not for uh, NGOs, civil society working together, how do we do that? How do we work in a complementary fashion? What are the objectives that we wish to shoot for? And one of the challenges in the past of 1998 was that the objectives themselves were very set very high. I uh, referred to the objectives that were set in 1998 and we indicate that while there has been significant um, achievements in some instances, they still remain a very distant goal. But rather than focusing on goals and words as to exactly what we want to achieve, um, we're, we're suggesting here's a way that we can go forward. I think that's right. I, two years ago we focused on what the problem around what from end okay what's been achieved in that 10 year period so we looked at what the problem was we then looked at what's been achieved this time our task was to look okay from all of that where do we go to make a difference and our focus this time has not been looking at the past the past is purely interesting if it gives you some assistance to where you're going or how to do things better and i think that's what we focused on that's where our consensus <coughs> came. To agree on these resolutions and declaration is a very serious offering, not only to Mr. Costa and his opportunities and invitation, but to every government that needs to work in civil society. And I think that's, that's really the, the magic that's occurred here that has so many people so excited. And I, I realize it's difficult sometimes from the outside looking in to realize that, that what did occur. But we had a unique event that occurred in the last few days here in the this. <coughs> and the recommendations that we put forward are such that can be debated very clearly with an understanding that this is not just, for instance, the Canadian Center on Substance Abuse or the Drug Free America Foundation or the International Harm Reduction Association. It's all three saying the same thing. So I think it's going to be hard to ignore because I think it's very serious. And I think it's up to us now to keep working with government so that they understand the, significant, the seriousness with which we put behind this. Looking for consensus is really too high an objective. You should be voting, you should be doing this. Uh, Monday night, we left here in a very anxious state because we got stuck on harm reduction. That eternal phrase that seemed to forever be the semantic block in front of us. We went home, I went home, and I said to my wife, who's visiting with me here, um, I'm not sure we can turn this around. I'm not sure we can get much, um, uh, I'm not in favor of the, the language, said, perhaps we can use it if we qualify it a different way. We brought together 15 people of all sides. 15 minutes later, they came up with a consensus definition. Um, I slept much better last night. <laughs> <laughs> Say, well, another press conference on drugs. Well, there's nothing much new there. Well, this is very new. And this is very much hopeful for the future. And I think that's what's got many of us excited here. Uh, so perhaps a new beginning and, and certainly an, a new opportunity for us, for all of us, because we're all affected by, by illicit and harmful drug use at some level, families and, and friends. Um, I think this will be good for all of us. So with that, David, and a closing remark and thank you to UNODC for